Welcome back everybody to Live at Nine. Food Truck Fridays is back. And we are kicking things off with our friend here, Eric Myers with Eat at Eric's Grill and Catering. All right, I have to know, did this start during the pandemic? You know how everything started during the e pandemic? Everything started during the <laughs> pandemic. No, this actually started uh, 10 years ago and actually really developed, unfortunately, after my dad passed away. Oh. And, um, we had a family business that clo that we closed, and I took what remained and bought this. And just put it on wheels. I brought it home and got up the next morning and walked out. And said, what what am I going to do? I just do? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to be cooking soon, but this is your menu, and I see it's it's a great for lunch. So where do you kind of stop around we, usually? We mainly go to corporate settings like uh, Newcor Steel and. Um, St. Jude is, we're usually at St. Jude on Wednesdays. We do a lot of private parties. This evening we're going to be at a church doing a private party. Oh, yummy, but hoagies, cheesesteak, veggie burgers, that is my favorite, so I'm there for that. And my <laughs> Lady Doris, my mom, loves grilled cheese, so, I mean, you have the nachos, and then, of course, the fryer, and then the salads for the people who want to be healthy. If you insist on being healthy, <laughs> we have salads. <laughs> All right, and so also I'm looking at your desserts, but let's make our way on in. And you have the chips, and, you know, Jenna, who uh, organizes our food truck fry, uh, she loves Cheetos, so well. I think that you're in good. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna head inside. This will actually be my first time inside of a food truck. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, welcome, All right. welcome to our humble abode. Oh, it's so good to be here. Look at the grill. Oh, okay, so uh, everything is just really mapped out here. Everything, yeah. yeah. I try to keep everything organized so that it's easy for us to do what we're gonna do. And what are you making? Today we're gonna make our. Uh, CBR, Cheddar Bacon Ranch Grilled mm -hmm. Chicken Sandwich, mm -hmm. which is a yeah. four ounce chicken breast, seasoned a little bit with cheddar cheese and bacon. And um, we put that on Texas toast. Oh, Texas toast, yes. Gotta love your Texas toast. And is that a little butter on the bread? A little bit, little bit of butter to get it to brown up nicely. What's your biggest selling item out here? It really varies by day and location. Generally, this is one of our probably top two. Really? Um, What's the other one? The the Philly the the Philly cheesesteak. Okay, and so what are the ingredients that you're going to be putting on this? So this is really simple. Um, we've got the chicken breast, the, the um, cheddar cheese, some ranch dressing. Let me reach around you here and okay. grab another piece of cheese. Oh, you have, you're doing the double cheese for us? Always. Okay. Put another piece of cheddar cheese on there. That and, on there. And so I'm seeing you also diced up um, a lot of vegetables there. For, for the Phillies and for the Philly cheesesteaks and the cheeseburger hoagies. Oh, so we're going to make two things here? Well, no, for, the, for this, we're just doing this, but uh, I know that we're hanging around to feed people. So. Oh, okay, yeah, so you kind of get everything set. Why uh, did you want to, you know, keep this on wheels? Like, what is, what is the allure of a food truck for you? Well, it's easier, lower cost of entry really? than a restaurant. I thought that like the gas costs, you know, like, you're, like well, you're always... Well, it, it certainly costs to operate, no mm -hmm. matter whether you're in a uh, brick and mortar or whether you're in a mobile. Uh -huh. But um, this also gives me a lot more flexibility. My wife and I love to travel, so this, if I want to go on a vacation, I can just close for a week. All right, and go on right. Vacation and I'm going to let them with, see your face, so I'm going to stand over here. With, with, a, right. with a brick and mortar, you're a little more tied down. Um, do you mind talking about just like your operation and who works with you? Sure, sure. Um, so I have a couple of people that work with me. Uh huh. And oh, of course they're calling. They said they're like you're on TV. Right. It's like <laughs> yeah, he's on TV. Don't call. Uh huh. Uh, I have a couple of people that work with me. Mm -hmm. uh, one is my my ex-wife. We have. Kids see, this is and... what's fascinating to me. <laughs> I love this. I think people need to see more of this, right? You and your ex-wife run the food truck together. She, yeah. I she, love her. And you. She's and here when I need her, and I know that she won't steal from me. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are <laughs> feeding the, the same biggest, mouth. One of the biggest problems in, in, in our industry generally is... Really? Um, theft. Theft. Right. Um, 
whoever wants to call really wants to call. Yeah, they need call. to stop. Um, yeah. And um, <laughs> so, I, and I have a couple other young ladies that work with me and uh -huh. help, help me out uh, when uh, when Carla can't make it. So, um, but we have we have fun. We yeah. we work uh, five six days a week usually. Uh, okay. We, as I said, we feed a lot of office complexes, right. and then we're headed into festival season, so we'll be out at Fair on the Square in Collierville in a couple of weeks, and okay. things like that. Well, I'm going to do the big bite here, but we really have to know about finding you, because there's not only a website, and people can actually order in advance. That's what I loved about it. Yeah, so we're on Street, uh, it's an app called Street Food Finder, All Right. and um, so you can follow us on Facebook. I post our schedule on Facebook. You can uh, go on Street Food Finder. It tells you where we are. It tells you. It allows you to pre-order on on the uh, Street Food Finder app, so you can order, pay, and schedule your pickup time. And um, <laughs> it's um, so. Um, but but uh, Facebook is the easiest way to find. Really? Us. Okay. Does your menu change? The menu is pretty static. Every now and again, we'll do something. A little bit different. Uh, I have. We did a private party for the for the eclipse uh -huh. where we were doing Mexican. Yeah. We were doing yeah. tacos and quesadillas. Okay. Um, I've been asked by one of my regular locations to do tacos and quesadillas. All right. Uh, for them one week. So do we want the moment of truth? <laughs> That's so dramatic. Now, as we're about to take a bite here, I do want to find out about. All the food trucks because we want to support the food truck industry and so we're putting information on the screen for you to reach out let us know if you want to join in on food truck fridays right here on live at nine and um i think this is the moment of truth i'm going to take the bite <laughs> right, yeah yeah there you go how we dance <laughs> thank you eric thank you Good very job. much all right, thank you for watching live at nine. We're gonna see you back here on Monday morning. We're gonna have much more coffee with Corey. We're gonna have a Lego demonstration. We're gonna build live. We'll see you then, have a good weekend.